Hi everyone, it's Greg from The Century Box and today we're going to be going inside the box for Champions of Midgard, the expansions. So this was a Kickstarter where if you did back it like we did as a store, you could get both the expansions that were being offered in one special box. Uh, in the future they're going to be releasing them but they're only going to be available separately and as is usual with Kickstarter there's going to be a few extras in here that I don't believe will be in the future uh, releases. So let's take a look. So there are two expansions in here, the Dark Mountain which is the first expansion and then Valhalla. So we have the two rule books for these two expansions. And if you're familiar with, with the uh, base game, then this should look pretty familiar, the style of the uh, rule book. So, and they're not too long. Uh, they are 16 pages each, but lots of images and the text is pretty big. So. The rules for the base game were not super complicated and I imagine these are just adding bits and pieces. We also have uh, promo instructions, so there are some previously released promo items that have come in this Kickstarter as well, some custom meeples, score markers, uh, some merchant ship cards, some journey and land journey cards and a new public longship. So we have the rules for those. Then we have some of the tokens. We've got some new uh, building tiles here, a new uh, longboat, and some score markers for if you go over 100 or 200 points. We have a bunch more tokens here. There's some new leaders that are available. So we've got some tokens here and all these tokens are for the Valhalla expansion, they are sacrifice tokens. So when your Vikings die, you get sacrifice tokens depending on what type of Viking they were, and then you can do things with those. We have some more tokens here, and a few more sacrifice tokens and leader markers there. The Valhalla board, very nice artwork here. Not sure exactly how it works. Uh, this one is the Dark Mountain board, so this would sit next to the board. And um, in the base game, you go on journeys across the sea to fight different monsters. This gives you an option to travel by land to go and fight. Burgrissars, um, so you would have a different set of land journey cards that you have to flip up and see what you face on the journey, see if you make it there. We have uh, a little board for market stalls, which um, has a couple of spaces here that look like they're only used in a five player game. And then we have the fancy meeples and scoring tokens, the promo ones that I mentioned earlier. So we have Vikings with the horned helmets. I'm not going to get into the discussion of the, whether Vikings have horned helmets or not, but the uh, scoring markers also are like the horned helmet symbol right there. And then we have uh, a new type of Viking warrior, the archer. So we have a bunch of dice for that. It's green dice there. We have a bunch of other new types of Vikings here. I believe the blue ones are the leaders. And I'm not entirely sure what the yellow and pink ones are, but new types of Viking warriors that you can use in this place. We have a selection of new types of cards, journey cards, and uh, other types of cards, more of the same, and uh, the land journey cards, which are new. A couple of little markers here for the new 
player colors. Here is the promo. I'll try and pronounce it right. Gulin Kambi. It is some kind of rooster shit. <laughs> Not entirely sure what the story behind that is, but I'm sure it's explained in the rules or on the promo sheet. Then we have. Some of the new leader boards. There's a bunch in here as well. Looks like eight in total. So eight it is. And we have a bunch of baggies. Always useful in any game. And then over here, some more cards to get to this pack. Which has the aforementioned Burgrassars that you're fighting in the Dark Mountains. And a whole bunch of those. And some other types of creature monsters that you can fight. Mist Walkers, Rock Creatures. Things that you would find up in the mountains, I guess. Final priests, trolls, so a bunch more of those. And here, some other uh, monster cards. Special new types of monsters. Fenrir, Fenrir Wolf. I think these are the epic monsters that you can come across. These cards here, I think, have to do with the Valhalla expansion. So I think you spend your sacrifice tokens that you get when your warriors die and get to perform special actions or something of that sort. So I guess these cards would go on the Valhalla board. So that is everything that comes in the full size Champions of Midgard expansions box. So we did kickstart this, but limited copies, uh, but they will be available separately in the future. I wanted to show everyone what comes inside this fancy one with the individual box. Um, so that is Champions of Midgard the expansions. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.